Welcome back to the Mike Leaf Show one last time to talk to Coach Leaf this week before the Warriors welcome St. Cloud State and Minnesota Duluth uh, here into McCown Gymnasium. Uh, your first time seeing these NSIC North rivals, um, and, and two, well, promises to really be two good games here this weekend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, St. Cloud has always been such a great, they have such a great program, and uh, uh, Kevin Schnagel, he, he does such a great job. You know, the, the thing about uh, St. Cloud is that they've always been very well rounded in everything that they do. They've had some great road wins uh, where they've upset some people, and uh, I, I shouldn't even call them upsets. But uh, they're they're a dangerous team, and the thing the thing that they do so well is that they progress during the course of the year, and they are so tough at tournament time. And unfortunately, we get them when it's almost tournament time. But uh, it, they're they're a tough ball club, and then and Duluth, it's a they're a nitty gritty, down to you know down to earth, blue collar, battle battle battle, and uh, so again, two two important games for us. This is the time of the year where everybody's trying to peak as we get into the postseason. Um, and, and you mentioned that St. Cloud always seems to play so well mm -hmm. uh, at, in postseason and, and those last couple weeks of the year. How do you get your team to really start to say to itself, okay, the postseason's right around the corner, and so we have to make sure that we buckle down and do what we need to do? Well, I, I think, you know, it's a mindset, and it's one of the things that, you know, to be honest with you, I think a lot of coaches would say this, that if you could bottle it, you'd, you'd be rich. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for me, I guess it's it, there's a certain point or time of the year in which you just kind of throw little things at them and, and, you, and you mention to them that, you know, at some point in time, you can't lose that next game. So, you know, let's get that mode of tournament time earlier on. So we try and instill that a little bit toward the mid, mid part of the conference season. And, you know, they may joke and kid about it and, you know, if you have a loss, you still play. But, you know, it, it really does, I, I think, as you progress, it, it, it's, it's there and subconsciously. And so, uh, you know, it, we don't want to lose, and, uh, you know, each game is really important, and we know that. The conference schedule makers have been kind to this team. Your last four games are here in Winona, uh, so you get to, you know, play in front of your home fans to close out the season. How much of an advantage is that getting to play those, those last four games of the year as you get ready? make those final tournament preparations here in Winona? Well, I tell you, it's a complete opposite of the last four games being on the road, and you can see the toll that it does take. And uh, it's just fantastic to be here. And, uh, you know, I've said this ever since I stepped foot on this campus, is that we've got the greatest fans. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we hopefully we're an entertaining team where they do come out and watch us play, but they're, they're definitely a sixth man for us. And, uh, you know, hopefully that's going to pull us through these next four. Uh, a couple of neat things going on this weekend. One of them is Saturday night. It's our academic night here at Winona State where we honor all of our student athletes who are succeeding in the classroom. I know there's a long list of your guys uh, who are going to be honored on Saturday. Uh, but but how, just speak to how important academics is for, for these students as, as they you know play basketball and have to juggle all those different things. But you want to make sure that they're in the classroom first and foremost. Yeah, absolutely. And. Uh you know, it's you know you tell your guys this all the time. If you're fortunate enough to be able to play some basketball after, after uh, being here at Winona State, that's great. But uh, you know you can only do that for so long, and uh, you know you got to get that piece of paper, you got to get that diploma, you gotta you have to have that. And uh, you know I I've really never struggled with the on the academic side with our guys. I think it's one of those things where you got players that want to do well in the classroom and on the court. They're competitive in the classroom. And uh, you know what, they're, they're always looking at each other's GPAs, but uh, you know, we're proud to be above the 3-0 and uh, again, I, I think uh, you know, Justin Laurel and Mike Turgeon in, in our academic advising do such tremendous work with Absolutely. our athletes and uh, you know, I can't say enough about it. But it, it's very, very important and, uh, to have a list of guys that are on that page uh, for Saturday, that's, that's just that's wonderful right. and I tell you what, the parents love it too. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, it'll be a great weekend for the Warriors. Again, it's St. Cloud State on Friday night, Minnesota Duluth on Saturday, and then Saturday at halftime of the men's game. Uh, we will be recognizing all of our outstanding student athletes, the, the student part emphasized at that point. That's all we have with Coach Leaf for this week. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Mike Leaf Show.